move up to the 75 kilogram middleweight division. And here comes the reigning European champion, Alexander Kuzniak from Ukraine. Preparing for this quarterfinal contest against a man who knows very well indeed. Ben Whitaker, nicknamed the future, incredibly talented individual. You see the height advantage that, that Ben Whitaker enjoys as they come together for the final instructions. Ben Whitaker will be trying to employ that superior height and reach. And straight punches and good ring movement to neutralize the aggression of the man in blue, the reigning defending 2017 European Championship gold medalist. He also took under 22 champ European Championship gold with the man in blue. That's Alexander Kizniak from Ukraine. He was second appearance at the World Championships here, 22 years of age, ranked number 15 in the world. Ben Whitaker, ranked number 49 in the world. Just 20 years of age, and these two men met in the second preliminary round as he takes a good right hand Whitaker but these two men met in the second preliminary round of that European Championships in Kharkiv, Ukraine and seeing as he went on to take gold you don't need me to explain further that it was Kizniak who came out on top Kizniak very strong indeed on that front foot but he's very predictable what he does he, he, as he comes forward he keeps the guard very high he's prepared to take the shots on the gloves and just close that gap down and, and whip the right hand over the top that's how he won his European title walking his opponents down so Whitaker's got to stay on the outside most definitely but at the same time he's got to meet him head on with some hard shots and try and stop him in his tracks and disrupt his rhythm of coming forward that's what Whitaker's, Whitaker's got to do here and he is the future for England's GB he's a very talented young man indeed is Ben Whittaker and uh, he'll use this he obviously knows this opponent very well indeed he's got a win over him uh, he's, yeah, he's got a win over him in the Europeans but uh, let's see what Whittaker can do and how he can do things different to, to stop his opponent coming forward and to employ that right uppercut underneath to employ it to oh that's a good right hand from Kizniak Whittaker was trying to bring the uppercut into play he'd use a full screw left there effectively to get between the high hug gloves of the man in blue taking out a good left jab and again flat footed sideways stalking but good straight punching from Whitaker, penetrating the guard of the man in blue but still he keeps on coming Whitaker's got to watch out for a, a slow jab on when he throws that jab slowly then Kitsniak picks up on it and he throws this right hand over the top he's waiting for that so Whitaker's got to keep the jab nice and sharp Keep box at range distance, but at the same time, he can't afford to switch off mentally because this fellow is waiting and he whips those shots over the top. Very dangerous indeed. Whitaker competing his third bout of the tournament had a brilliant display against John Fialo from Kenya. He fought about a standing count with his left jab in the second round of that bout. Ramrod left repeatedly rocked the head back of the Kenyan. And the referee intervened to issue a standing count. Then you see him trying to bring the upset into play again. Followed up with a hook on that occasion. So we're there. Target punches landed from Kizniak in that exchange. Yeah, some good boxing there from Whitaker on the outside. Paul Wormsley and Tony Davis in that corner. They'll be fairly pleased with their man in that round. This fella's just a real handful, isn't he? Just keeps coming forward. So there's a jab from Whitaker, boxing at range. Fast jab there from Kizniak, just from that uh, peekaboo style. Paul Warmsy there, just giving some instructions to Whitaker. Just keep the movers. Punch first, punch long, move your feet. Tell me what the beans are. Don't take them on. That's only, the only one and only thing you can do. You box, you move, you box, you move. Punch first so you never let them sit. You, you never sit too well. Do you understand? Punch first. Box in the team. Come on.
to the second round then in the 75 kilogram middleweight division and Whitaker comes out immediately carrying out his coach Paul Warms his instructions punching first and moving but in pursuit of him is Alexander Kisniak but again moving laterally left and right in lovely fashion Ben Whitaker meaning that the man in blue has to stop reset change direction and come again Beautiful left jab. The way to box against this opponent also, Ronald, is to counter attack. So you know Kisniak is going to come forward. He's always on that front foot. He's very predictable. But before he punches, you've got to beat him to the punch. It's a counter attack. That's a super right up good there from Kisniak. But what Whittington's got to do, he's got to beat his opponent to the punch as he's coming forward. That's difficult. You've got to get the timing right, hit him hard, and then move again. And that's what Paul Wolves in that corner was saying. You must hit and then punch first, then move. And Whitaker still riding around the ring, both left and right. The off and right hand from Kisniak was long and landed somewhere behind the ear of Whitaker. Now he's bulldozing him to the corner, trying to get him to hold his feet. Whitaker walks back out to the space of ten to me and gets back behind that long, trusty left jab. A terrific display in the second pulling their round over the third seed and fourth ranked boxer in the world, Kishan Vika, two time Olympian from India, comprehensively outworked him as he takes another right hand over the top from Kidniak, who's targeting that shot repeatedly. Right hand success again. To keep this man at bay is very difficult indeed, isn't it? This is why he's a European champion this year, he's experienced, he's coming forward, he's strong. Whitaker, a young man who's just only just made the podium um, squad for GB. Great experience. He's doing well here against a very strong opponent indeed. He's got to keep it going. But Kisniak, very difficult to keep him at bay. Remembering his first world championship two years ago, which he referred to his strength, he was competing at light heavyweight. He's come down in the intervening years to the 75 kilogram middleweight limit. But my goodness, has he brought that strength with him. Lost in that tournament, incidentally, to Joseph Ward, who went on to take World Championship silver. But he often takes an opponent of that caliber, who's an adept switch hitter, wonderfully fluid boxer, to keep this man subdued. Whitaker's got flashes on it here, but it's difficult to sustain for three, three minutes against such an experienced operator. left jab to the body from Kisniak who is getting closer on a repeated basis as he walks his man onto an arcing right hand there with more success with the right hand and then a long left Whitaker becoming just a little bit disorganized in the closing stages of this second round and a very good conclusion to the second round from Kisniak even though it was punctuated on the belt by a corkscrew left from Whitaker Keeps coming forward, doesn't he, Kisniak? He's just feeling it a little bit. He's put a lot of movement in as the he's listened to his corner. This guy on that front foot, very strong indeed. Whitaker trying to keep the gap all the time between himself and his opponent. Kisniak there, trying to land that right hand. Skitting around on the outside here with Ben Whitaker and just misses there with that left hand. So we're into the third and final round. Good right hand from Kisniak after a left jab from Whitaker. Whitaker's corner, we're imploring him to unleash some power, but it's Kisniak who is unloading, unloading the right hand bombs to begin this third stanza. Both body and head being targeted by that bazooka of a backhand, and Whitaker trying to keep his man at bay behind that broom handle of a left jab. Oh my goodness, he's hit flush by a hook and uppercut, and then more punches through the middle. And this is a terrific start to the third and final round by the reigning European champion. Yeah, this is going to be a big test for the young Englishman here. On the outside, trying to keep his man at bay, listening to his corner, hitting and moving. He's probably just got to put, occasionally, he's just got to put a little bit more into his shots to try and keep this man at bay. But we've said it time and again, Kidnack, front foot boxer, very strong indeed, difficult to deter. It's a tough job now for Ben Whitaker. 
nice evasive maneuvers, still keeping his wits about him, is Ben Whitaker, keeping underneath the hook, managed to evade that right cross, which Kizniak had so much success with at the start of this round, that's a beautiful right uppercut from Whitaker, walked his man onto it, a long shot underneath. Whitaker continuing to dodge and dart left and right. Lovely boxing, you know, from Whitaker. That was that right uppercut, side to side with the feet and bringing his opponent onto that jab. Kisniakko still coming forward, trying to whip the right hand over the top. Kisniak very dangerous indeed, and he's trying to block the shots as he's coming forward with that high guard. You're on the midpoint of the third and final round. Puffing right hand on the retreat from Kuzniak and then the left uppercut wasn't too far away. See Paul Wormsley over to the left hand side of the screen just imploring Ben Whitaker to keep the shots long. Here's a long left hand and spearing left right through the guard but look at Kuzniak work away to that long slender torso of Whitaker. Two hurtful shots just above the belt line. Yeah, some good work there from Whitaker, but he just held his feet. He's just got to move his feet after he's landed those shots. So it was good boxing, but he just paid the price of holding the feet a little bit too long after he'd landed the shots. And you, you can't do that with this fella, Kuzniak. That's what he wants you to do. He wants an opponent to stand in front of him, hold his feet, so he can let his shots go. Kuzniak. Physicality there in the form of an armbar. Tidy tumble to the canvas for Whitaker. Contest resumes into the closing stages. Good left hand from Whitaker. Still demonstrating good footwork. Trying to find a home for that right cross. Kidnap remains in pursuit of his man. Ten second clapper has sounded. And now the box of exchanging at short range. Terrific contest in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. And one suspects it is a man who is all smiles in the blue corner. Alexander Kizniak, the reigning senior European champion, the reigning under 22 European champion, who has just earned a repeat victory over Ben Whitaker of England, competing in his first world championships, the reigning English national champion, remember, acquitted himself well. But I think he's been made second best here. I think he acquitted himself very well in the last round, he did Whitaker. Well, he threw some great shots there. It was a lovely combination from the Englishman there. But it's very difficult to, to, to keep this man at bay and maintain that gap. But for an inexperienced boxer, he did really well there, Whitaker. Championships in Hamburg, a 4-1 split decision winner over Ben Whitaker, who was absolutely distraught. He acquitted himself very well indeed. He gave it absolutely everything and showed glimpses of the talent, which is why he's been anointed with the nickname of the future. It's a man we are sure to see again in Aiba Elite Open competitions. He gave it everything that he had, but the power punching and front foot aggression of Kizniak has been rewarded. Ukraine corner.